The Flex comes from the Washington-based company called Gen3 and is kitted out with a 500-watt motor with an expectation of 900 watts at full power. It's named for its 21-speed shifting, so you can have as hard or easy a time on any incline. With a 40 miles range, the Flex can handle most work commutes and be charged overnight with a six-hour charge time. The Flex is currently going for $1,599. Aesthetics mix well with performance in the Outcross from Gen 3, a Washington-based company. An elegant design with big old 4-inch tires for a smooth ride, whether rain or snow. You'll need 6 hours to fill up the 48-volt UL certified battery from zero, but the 35-mile range should suffice for most riders. Be warned that this bike and its 500-watt motor aren't for everyone, as it does sit a bit high. If interested, you can pick it up for around $1,699. If you're in a rush and on the move, you may just need the groove. This folding e-bike from Gen 3 makes storage as easy as can be. 1,000 watts of peak power is more than plenty for most people and the good reviews reflect that. With five levels of pedal assist though, this e-bike will fit your needs no matter the situation. All that and some puncture resistant tires for around $1,599 for those interested. If adventure is what you're after, Aventon delivers it with their most powerful e-bike simply called Adventure. This e-bike attempts to tackle it all with an elegant design and 4-inch fat tires fit for any terrain. And with the 750-watt motor coupled with the 720-watt-hour battery, it'll do the job pretty well, according to the hundreds of 5-star reviews. The Adventure comes in three colors and three sizes ranging from small, medium, and large. If you want your own, they're going for around $1,999. Coming in two colors of blue and four sizes, the Yeti 160E T1 from Jetson USA is a high-end e-bike built for racing. A Shimano XT 12-speed drivetrain is accompanied by a 630-watt-hour battery. It provides a smooth ride with its tubeless-ready rims and tires. Well-made parts are the bread and butter of this e-bike and can be found in every aspect of its construction. You can buy one outright for $12,700, or if that is a bit too rich for your blood, there are plenty of e-bikes on sale on the Jensen website. Some of us don't need so much oomph, which is where something with a 350-watt motor and 36-volt battery, like the Hurley Tailside Mountain e-bike from Jensen USA comes in. The seven-speed drivetrain offers variants with up to 40 miles of drive time. You can pick this up in either black or green for $1,699 on their website. Based in California, Juiced Bikes is producing affordable e-bikes that perform to task, like the Scrambler. The 750-watt motor strapped to this boxy bike is accompanied by your choice of a 13-amp-hour battery for a range of 45 miles or a 15-amp-hour battery with a range of 52 miles. There is also a choice between three colors and whether you prefer city riding tires or off-roading tires. You can purchase a Scrambler for $1,799 or $1,999 for the bigger battery.
If going far and going fast are what matters most to you, the Hyper Scrambler 2 from the California-based company Juiced Bikes may be your cup of tea. With an option to use two batteries, this bulky bike boasts a 100 plus mile range and speeds up to more than 30 miles per hour. And with two batteries, you can expect a watt hour capacity of nearly 2000. Side view mirrors, brake lights and turn signals are also included along with three options of color choice for the bike frame and a passenger seat. The Hyper Scrambler 2 is on sale right now for $2,799 or $3,299 with two batteries. Juiced Bikes claims the Rip Current S Step Through is their most versatile fat tire e-bike. A 750 watt motor paired with a 52 volt battery equals 70 plus miles of riding with a max speed of 28 miles per hour. The Rhino Step Through also has a 750 watt motor. Click the card in the top right if you want to compare. You can pick up a Rip Current S Step Through yourself in any of four colors for $2,699. For the best bang for your buck, Electric Bikes XP 2.0 Black is an 850 watt peak power electric bike on sale for only $949 for the season with its Black Friday bundle. A 45 mile range with a charge time from 0 to 100 in 6 hours makes for a pretty good deal at that and the bike can fold for easy storage to boot. You can also order the XP Step Through 2.0 Black version or the XP Step Through 2.0 White for the same price. With its sleek design, the Colorado based company of Planet Cyclery ensures that the intense taser will provide superior handling and ride trails with excellence. A 250 watt motor with 60 newton meters of torque is juiced by its 504 watt hour battery. And to help you adjust to your route, a Shimano 12 speed drivetrain controls the pedal assistance. You can purchase an intense taser in either a large or medium frame for $6,299 or apply for financing. Conquering rugged terrain has never been easier than with the Crusader. This all-wheel drive electric bike from Rambo Bikes in Minnesota packs two 500-watt motors for a peak of 1,500 watts. Thanks to its single-speed drive, it rides pretty silently too, and it has plenty of power with its 48-volt battery for a range of 38 miles. The Crusader is available for $49.99.99, with free shipping throughout the contiguous USA. Designed to be the ultimate hunting e-bike, the Megatron from Rambo Bikes features dual 1,000-watt hub motors with a 34-amp-hour battery. With a range of 80 miles, you can get to nearly any hunting site and back. And with all-wheel drive, you can do so as easy as can be. Of course, you could switch between that and either rear or front-wheel drive instead. Picking up a Megatron will run you $72.99.99. Want a street legal performance bike? Super 73 says that the RX has the most powerful drivetrain in their lineup and supports iOS and Android through their app. The internal brushless motor is pumping out a max power of nearly 2,000 watts. 
With the state-of-the-art 960 watt-hour battery, an estimated range of 40 or more miles can be expected. For $3,495, you can tackle any terrain with the RX and its fat 5-inch tires. With uniquely designed 4-inch fat tires, the ZX Trooper tires from California-based Super 73 has a good grip, and time won't wear them down as bad. The 615 watt-hour removable battery is no slouch, and combined with the motor, a peak power of 1,350 watts is possible. When using the Eco Pedal Assist, an estimated range of 50 miles is expected, or 30 miles if using only the throttle. This one is going for $1,995, which is similar to the Rad Rover 6 Plus we covered. Click on the card on the top right to compare the two. Utilizing the Hot Wheels Legacy, Super 73 has fully customized its RX model in collaboration with the IP. This electric bike uses the same components as the RX, but with a few distinct customized aesthetics. A new paint scheme and custom embroidered seat and handlebar pad, as well as new pedals and a yellow tinted headlight. You can pick one up for $5,000. Built from the lightweight and flexible chromoly steel, the Urban Ultralight 750 comes from Zoos Bikes, a Texas manufacturer with bikes around the globe. The motor is rated at 600 watts with a peak power of 1200, and the 16 amp hour battery can be fully charged in around four hours. Although the speed is capped at 20 miles per hour, it can be uncapped to 26, but not advisable for public roads. Load capacity sits at 230 pounds, so if you're interested, they're going for $2,600. Compared to the other models by Zoos Bikes, the Urban Ultralight 1100 has a higher weight capacity and top speed with more range but at the cost of weight. Uncorked, this simply designed e-bike has a speed of 26 to 33 miles per hour with a range of 33 to 40 miles. Most riders will be able to mount up with its weight capacity of 300 pounds and the cadence sensors offer a smooth, consistent ride. For $3,100, one could be yours. An interesting design from Zoos Bikes brings us a pedalless electric bike simply called Concept 01. Weighing 85 pounds, this bulky bodied e bike is surprisingly swift with a max speed of 60 miles per hour. A bike like that needs a lot of power, and a 4.3 kilowatt system seems to do it. If you want to cruise the city at night in one of these, they're going for $10,000.